Welcome, I'm from an LGQ60 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So to get started, number one, you want to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to proceed to the setup and in here enable wi-fi and connect to your network and i connect to my right at the moment and once it's connected there we go so once you connect you can go back to the first page now i'm gonna proceed a little further so you can see that the device is locked And there you go, so draw your pattern or use account. Now, because I know the pattern and the passcode, I'm gonna use a different one. Uh, so my pattern that I have set before I reset it to lock it was uh, kind of like an L. So I'm gonna do something else just so there is a uh, difference. So as you can see, the device is locked. So let's go to the first page and go into accessibility settings and from here select to speak go into the settings tap on help and feedback and choose use morse code now if you don't see this option you can always search for it so just type in morse and it should uh, show up there so tap on use morse code and if for some reason it for instance goes back you just want to uh, re-tap on it and uh, hopefully the second time it will open up so from there tap on the video it will load up and you want to tap on three dots and select watch later and this will open up chrome so from here accept and continue and we don't want to sign in and from here i'm going to go into google.com And then here on the top on sign in and sign in with your existing account. I'm gonna put in the password for it. Let's tap on next. And you can see that I'm now signed in based on this little icon right here. I'm gonna to wanna to save it. So once you're signed in, now tap on the search field and you wanna search for any kind of restaurant. So as you can see, I already have searched for one. Um, it's KFC, anything that is basically near you. It doesn't really matter what it is. What you're really looking for is the uh, address and for you to be able to open it up in Google Maps. So if you see the address with this little icon of a pin, tap on it. It will show you up a uh, bunch of information about it. So call, uh, directions, stuff like that. Now it's in a different language right now. Um, but you want to tap on the arrow, uh, basically the sign with an arrow. That's the directions. It will open up. Google Maps, and from here we want to skip this, so the top, top on skip. And what will happen? And there we go. So you can see that there it is. And as you can see right now, I'm not sure if uh, it will load up or not. That the first time I tried it, it actually did not. So if you have it, have a problem with actually finding the directions to it. What you want to do is tap on your location, the first one, and choose your location, and this will pop up with the uh, allowance to uh, to the localization. And this time around, it should work fine. As you can see, it automatically loaded. So from here, you can tap on start. Got it. And uh, now this will open up the mic option right here. So tap on the mic. And you want to say open Google. Oops, well, that was unfortunate. Um, 
So now I'm gonna try that again, uh, this time without actually speaking before. Open Google. There we go. So the second time it worked fine. Um, I'm not gonna drag this down to get rid of it for now. Uh, no thanks. And from here, in a search bar, you wanna search for contacts. There we go, so contacts right here. And from contacts up, you wanna tap on the three dots and go into contact settings. Then check the online search. Turn that on, tap on add. There you go. And from here, you wanna add any kind of email address with password. So I'm again gonna use the same one as previously. Okay, now unfortunately I actually have to finish up the... There we go. And now let's tap on next. And in here, you can scroll down. And you have the client certification, tap on add. And change, and this will allow us to add a pattern. Now like I said, I know the pattern that was previously on here. So I'm gonna do something else now. Before it was like this, so now I'm gonna go on mirror reflection like that. Let's tap on next. Confirm. Now I don't really care about a fingerprint, so we're basically done here. Um, okay. Uh, so now you want to hold bar key, select reboot or restart right there, and wait for the device. And what this will allow us to do, once the device is back on, we can use that to verify the account that was uh, blocking us. Okay, so let's progress through the setup now on Smore. And there we go, so there's draw the pattern. So in the draw pattern, you want to just draw the pattern that you have set right before the restart. And you can see that we're basically in. And from here we can skip the sign into Google. And you can see that we're now in the home screen. So let's tap on later. And from here, I can still do one more thing. So let's go into the settings and general. And from here, we're looking for restart and reset and tap on factory data reset and just reset phone. And again, draw the pattern that you have set, delete all and restart. And once the device turns back on, that process will be fully finished and your device should be then fully unlocked.
And now that the process is finished, you can set up your device as however you like. So again, I'm gonna go through the setup process fairly quickly, skipping most of the things, just so you can see that there is no more need to verify anything. And as you can see, we're now on the home screen. There's no need to verify anything and the device is now fully set and fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.